Hi guys, my Filmic Log version 2 tutorial has taken a long time to create. A lot has changed, I've adopted a new workflow, and I'm finally ready to share that with you over the next couple of videos. This video is split into two parts. There's an article on my website that goes into more depth. You'll find the link in the video description. The videos show how, but the article explains why. My intention is that you watch and read to get the whole picture. Part 1 is dedicated to shooting Filmic Log version 2 with the iPhone XS Max, XS, XR, and any other devices that employ aggressive dynamic tone mapping. Part 2 is dedicated to color correcting Filmic Log version 2 video in post production. I'm going to introduce you to what we call a color managed workflow using the X-Rite Color Checker Passport video. This is a way of ensuring consistency in the recording and reproduction of color from capture to color correction. The X-Rite Color Checker Passport video is a reference chart specifically made for video with very precise reference chips that are specific not only in color but also in reflectance and saturation. This chart provides a fixed reference for luminance and color when you can't trust or control exactly what the camera image processing is doing to your video. Let's take a close look at the chart, and finally how to use it when recording Filmic Log version 2. The first thing I'll show you when you open up the chart is the white balance target. This is a spectrally flat target that provides a neutral reference for setting your white balance. Next up are the rows of white, 18% grey and gloss black. These are a very important reference that allows you to correct your levels in post. Next are the color chips. There are six chroma chips specifically designed to align with the color axes on a vectorscope. These are skin tone samples ranging from light to dark with subtle undertones. Finally, there are more shades of gray, which can help you analyze what is happening with your levels in more detail. Now I'll show you how to put the chart to use. Step one will always be to set white balance. To set white balance, you need to make sure that the target is evenly lit by your main brightest light source. This will be your key light, or the sun, or at least unobstructed ambient light if that's your main source of light. Try to move your phone close enough to the chart without casting a shadow so that the white balance target fills the frame. Then you can lock your white balance in Filmic Pro. It may be easier to temporarily zoom into the target, lock the white balance, and zoom back out. With the white balance now correct and locked, you can set exposure and shoot your chart before continuing to record your video. I recommend you use Filmix Exposure Reticle to set your exposure, and always lock it once it's set. Technically the white chip on the color checker chart should be exposed at a level of around 90% on the waveform. I found this difficult to actually achieve manually, but in most cases as long as the chart, main subject and scene is front lit by the main and brightest light source such as the sun, or sufficiently bright ambient non-directional light, I can safely auto expose by placing the exposure reticle over the brightest part of the frame. You only need a few seconds recording of the chart, so have someone hold it in shot for a few seconds before moving it out and then you can continue shooting as normal. The chart needs to be evenly illuminated by your main, brightest light source. None of the chart can be in shadow. The reflective black chip needs to be a deep black, so watch out for anything reflecting in it. I shoot the chart in every new shot, but at the very minimum you need to reset white balance, reset your exposure, and shoot the chart again whenever anything substantial changes, including camera position and any change to your light source. There are situations when the chart will have limited use for correction in post. In the accompanying article, I've included some tips for situations when the chart itself can't be the sole reference for correction. In part two, I'm going to take you step by step through color correcting Filmic Log version 2 video using the Color Checker Passport. I hope you found this video helpful. Once you see just how easy it is to color correct perfectly when you have a chart in the shot, you won't want to shoot without it. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, please watch part 2, and thanks for watching.